Good day, panelists. My name is Giselle Marie Goloso. This is my teaching demonstration for junior high school. Let me start. All right, everybody, please stand for the prayer. John, please lead the prayer. Okay, and the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. All right, so good morning, class. All right, so how are you so far today? Very fine. That's good. All right, so who are the absents for today? Class monitor, are there any absents? Wow, none. Very good class. All right, so are you ready for a new topic for today? Good. Very amazing. All right, so before that, let us first have a review about our lesson yesterday. Okay, so who can still remember our lesson yesterday? Yes, Jane. Very good, James. So we talked about the parts of this of a sentence. What are the parts of sentence? Yes, Josh. Very good. So we have the subject, the verb, and the object. Okay, that is good. Do you have any questions about the parts of a sentence? No questions. Very good. So it is very essential for our new topic for today. Okay, so before I introduce to you our new lesson. So I have here a crumpled paper. So who do you think, class, crumpled this paper? Who do you think did this one? Right, very good. So we don't know who crumpled this paper. Okay, so how about I ask Joseph to crumple this paper? Okay, Joseph, please crumple this paper. Right, very good. So now, class, who crumpled this paper? Very good. It is Joseph. So Joseph did the action. Alright. So that is what we call, class, the voice of the sentence. So it indicates whether the person or the thing that we call the subject performs or receives the action. Okay? So we are going to talk about the active and the passive voice. Alright, so do you have any idea about active and passive voice class? No, not yet. Okay, so before I discuss about the active and passive voice, so uh, please read the objectives for today's lesson. Everyone, everybody read. Alright, thank you so much. So these are the objectives that we are going to achieve for today's lesson. Okay, alright, so this time, let's talk about active and passive voice. So first, we have active voice. From the word active, what comes into your mind? Do you have any idea? Um, yes, Joa. Very good, Joa. The subject performs the action. Very good. That is active voice. Yes, the subject itself does the action. Okay. Alright, so I have here an example. Alright, so everybody please read the two sentences. So the judge counted the novel and the rich man's servant cooked a special food. Alright, so first thing class, you need to determine the parts of the sentence. So we have the subject first. So you need to determine the subject, the verb, and the object. So let's have the first sentence. What is the subject, everyone? Very good. So we have the judge and the verb. Pounded. Very good. And the object? Very good. That is the gavel. So that is the first thing that you need to do. Okay, so um, you said that the subject is the judge. So who did the action pounded? So that is the judge. So that is why it 